One way to start a new project, is by clicking on button new on top left. Another way, is by right click on any empty space in the project list, and then clicking on selection project. At the beginning, user should fill up some details for the project, like the project name, the number of the project and the number of the quotation, the details about the client, and maybe beginning and ending text that can be printed later on the quotation. This tab can be filled up at any time, so it's not obligatory to finish everything at this point. The only obligatory field of course is the project name that should be also unique. In project preferences, first thing is the structural analysis settings. Here user can select no structural analysis, in case of a simple project. In case of more complex projects, like projects that includes curtain walls, and the structural analysis is necessary, user can set up things either by country standards or by free input of wind pressure values. Second to set up in project preferences is the colors of the project. Colors can be not selected here, since they will be asked again later in the position input. However, correct selection of the color at this stage will make users work less later. User can select either a whole color group, or a specific RAL color. Selecting RAL color need a small attention. As shown here, RAL 9006 appears 5 times. In pre-anodized group D, and in group D with charge per kilogram, as well as in same groups but with charge per meter. It appears also as a free color. As said, correct selection of color at this stage will help user later, however a wrong selection might be easily changed later. User can also press elect the color of the hardware at this stage. Keep in mind that the most common colors of Alumal Group as for the hardware are white, black, and silver. Glass Preference gives user the option to preset up to three glasses and three panels for the project. Of course, three is not the limit, it's just the three most commonly used glasses in the project. Glass can be selected from the list of the glasses existing in user database. These are the insulating glass unit, the single glass, and the special glass. It can also be a project glass. Algorithm of creation of project glass is exactly the same with glass creation in the user database. Name, is a short name that will be used in the software. It should be unique. Description 1 and Description 2 on the other hand can be as much detailed as user wants to be, since this is what the client will later see in the quotation. In thickness, user adds the clear glass thickness of each pane. It's important to select also the glass type, example given float glass, since this will give full properties of the glass. For the laminated glass, user should add the total glass thickness without the lamination membrane. Lamination membrane thickness will be activated as correction, once user select the correct glass type. A common mistake users are doing, is adding the glass spacer as the center pane. 
center pane is used only in case of triple glazing. The spacer gap is added as a range from a minimum to a maximum gap, allowed on the specific glass configuration. Spacer type can be selected from a list of preset spacers. These are the most commonly used spacers in the market. Of course, user can add his own psi value by selecting free value. Last important value to be added, is the UG value provided by the glass supplier. In advanced tab, user can add properties of the glass, like acoustic performance, or solar factors, as well as construction limits. Last but very important tab, is the estimation tab. Here user should add the cost of his glass. Usually the charge is per square meter of actual area, and with a minimum calculation area. Additional surcharges can be added. These can be per piece, or per perimeter, area, weight etc. Important surcharge is the perimeter surcharge since it is calculated per linear meter, and can be the perimetrical engraving of the glass. Once user is done with glasses creation, it's time to select them in the project as glass preferences. Here, user will also select one of the possible total glass thickness. Notice that due to lamination correction, there is the nominal and the actual glass thickness. User can select a standard system for the project, but this is not necessary. Last tab in project preferences, has to do with the CE data. Alumal suggests this to be always in the automatic selection.